Chris McCarney, so good to be with you, man. It's so good to be here. This is the best. Man, I miss you so much, dude. Like I know, this we last year we haven't got to hang out. <laughs> Crazy. It's just good to see people again, man. And it's especially exciting because you've got new songs. You've got new recordings that are coming. Yeah. And um, man, this song, I, I was an early champion of this song. I mean, <laughs> think you and I together, we're working on people because of what this song said. But we're talking about uh, it's time to worship. And talk about this song. I love the fact that, you know, 
this is not a song where you just, you, it's not song one on Sunday morning where it's be like, hey, everybody, it's time to worship. And we're going to sing about it right now, right. you know. But it's, there's a, a lot of depth to this lyric. Um, but talk about this song, the writing of it. Um, I know you, you almost finished it in sections. You know, you got the first parts done and then the bridge came later. But, um, and talk about a little bit <laughs> of just the thoughts behind that lyric because I, I love it so much. Oh, you're so nice. Uh, that's with Mitch Wong and uh, Jesse Early, is who I sat down to write it with. Both incredibly hmm. good writers with incredible voices. And um, when we sat down, a similar thing. Some Again, sometimes I show up with uh, an idea for a song, and sometimes I show up with, this is what my church needs. And it was like, what what song do you play when someone's praying at the beginning of service and they're, you're just on the one while they pray. And it's like such a good moment. And you're like, I just wish we could stay here. But you end up having to stop and then be like, one, two, three. <laughs> but it was like, is there a song? Is there a way to start worship uh, where you're just in it already? Mm. Like, let's cut out the extra stuff and just head straight into it. And... Uh, so, yeah, the song basically is just a call to worship. And it's a bunch of rhetorical questions. Like the second verse is, if he's still faithful and kind, if his mercies yeah. are new, of course they are, then it's time to worship. So it's mm -hmm. like, like, let's remember that God is good. God is taking care of us. It's time to worship. Let's also remember that he's not going to fail us. Mm -hmm. It's time to worship. So it's like, let's help people get through, because I think – at the beginning of a worship service, the reason why we throw in songs that are like, they're not throwaway, but they kind of are. Uh, they're not the main meat of your worship time, per se. And I think it's because, like, people are just burdened with the worries of the week. Mm -hmm. And you the, get checking your kids in, and it's like, so the goal of this song was, can we write a song that just keeps funneling people's vision up to wow. the Lord. And then the chorus is just, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And I love that. That chorus, I think, is what caught me at first. It's so simple. Obviously, it's scripture. But the way that chorus sings, I just heard a room, just you know, a, a, a crowd of people yeah. singing that together. And we heard that when we were writing it. That was the other thing. Mm. Which is why uh, you were talking about how we were the ones fighting for it. Lots of other people were like, I don't think that's the right song. And I was like, I promise it's good. Because in my head, I'm hearing a whole yeah. room full of people going, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And that's like, wow. I don't know. I love, too, that this song takes, it's, it says worship is the answer in every season of life, you know, whether it's, it's good times, like you said, you know, if it's, if God's been good, obviously he has, praise him. But even if you're in the struggle, even if you're in the yeah. hard time, praise the Lord, now's the time to worship. So well, like that was the, I think it's the second verse and we say, uh, if, or maybe it's first, but it says, uh, if you're still waiting to see his promise yeah, come true, right. it's still time to worship. It actually might even be more time to worship for you than the people that are having a good day. But. Yeah. Wow. Well, man, walk us through. So you're capoed five G position, right? G position. And uh, what I'm doing for the uh, verses is just straight. I'm just drumming like this. And it's just G. If there's still breath in your lungs and a beat in your sea. It's time, and then you repeat that. G. C. And then you go to an E minor. It's time to worship C. And then the chorus is. Five, so the D, let everything that has breath, six, E minor, four, C, one, G. So the bridge is going to be uh, starting on the E minor. If we're going to sing, then let it be, oh, I'm walking it up, D over F sharp, then let it be G. If we're going to sing, 
Let it be seen. We sing hallelujah. It's just a simple walk up. Six minor. Five over seven. One, four. Man, and the choir sounds the so choir good. The so good. <laughs> it's the best. There's so many, the harmonies there on that chorus are so great. And man, I could just see that working in so many different ways in church, man. So it's super exciting. Chris, thank you so much for joining us, man. Thank you for having me. Always a lot of fun. You're the best. Everything that has breath.